Today's review is the Hasbro Marvel Legends Infinite Series Build-A-Figure Collection Spider-Girl. Hey guys, so I'm back with another review for a Build-A-Figure Collection from the Marvel Legend Infinite Series. This is Spider-Girl. Uh, the Build-A-Figure is Hobgoblin. So here's the front view of the packaging. Spin to the back. And these are other figures on the line. Uh, there's also Spider-Woman, which is also part of the series. Uh, you have Spider-Man, you have Anti-Venom, which I did, already did a review for. Spider-Man 2099, and then you have Warriors of the Web, which is Spider-Girl. Warriors of the Web, Spider-Woman and then Daredevil. And the final complete Build-A-Figure is Hobgoblin. Flip to the back. So we'll get this figure open up and I'll be right back. Before we look at Spider-Girl, let's take a look at the two Build-A-Figure pieces that come with the figure package. Uh, so you get Hobgoblin's head. Oops and his head is actually loose inside the mask and I guess when the body when I have the body ready you can it looks like it's a ball joint so you could snap onto <clears throat> the torso body here is the wings pretty big piece So let's put those aside and take a look at Spider Girl. You know, as with other Marvel Legend figures, the articulation is definitely top notch. Um, you get a lot of posability with the figure. And let's go over that with Spider Girl. So on the head is a ball joint. And with the ball joint, you also get an added a bend. You can't really see due to the <clears throat> costume paint, uh, but you could bend further back and forward. So there's very good posability there. <clears throat> At the shoulder is a ball joint. At the elbow is a bend and a swivel. At the hand is also a bend and a swivel. At the upper waist, there is an ab crunch. Upper legs, ball joint. Upper thighs is a swivel. Double hinge knees. And on the foot is a bend and also a... So there's no swivel, but there's a bend and there's a slight... Actually, there's a slight swivel. A little bit of a ball joint there. So, I definitely like the articulation that comes with the Marvel, Marvel Legend figures. Pretty impressed, even though um, they use the same basic body across um, the figures in Marvel Legends. In terms of paint application, um, it's really good. Uh, this costume definitely stands out with the spider symbol on across the chest of the body. Um, the white eyes and the web paint application around the head is very, very well done. And you get all, you also get the red web pattern across the outside of the legs side view that's pretty neat half of it is blue half of it is the red web on the back also is the spider web and spider symbol on the wrist is what it looks like could be the tools of spider girl uh, both arm both hands have it And if you haven't already noticed, both hands are in the um, spider shooting 
uh, hand position. It, it doesn't come with any alternate hands, so I mean, it would have been cool if they did include some, because nowadays you do you do get multiple uh, changeable interchangeable hands with the Marvel Legend figures, but this one uh, just came like this, no added accessories. But I'm pretty sure if Marvel Legends Hasbro, if Hasbro was to revisit this figure, they would definitely add some extra alternate hands and. Uh, I mean that's that would definitely add extra features for this figure. Sculpting, I mean it's pretty basic. Um, everything everything you see in the figure in front of the camera is is what it is. Uh, there's no extra extra detail um, aside from you know the the wrist that I mentioned before, the silver. Um, tool set there. Yeah, overall I like this figure and it definitely looks great so far with uh, the anti-venom figure that I have. Let me take that out. So I actually had to zoom out a little because of the monster size of anti-venom. I didn't realize how big he is compared to Spider-Girl. So Spider Girl, which is probably five and a half inches to six inches, scaled at six inches. Anti Venom is, now that I look at it, it could be seven and a half to eight inches. Huge difference. Her head is basically at his shoulder level. Wow. Yeah, so, so far that's two figures for the Hobgoblin line. Pretty cool. Thank you for watching my review. If you have any questions or comments, please leave below. Subscribe to my channel, Rockstick, and I'm going to have more reviews coming. Have a nice day.